This video is about changing your uh, 2014 red bone back and forth from single to double. Okay, how you do that? As you call, first thing you want to do is just take it apart and look in there. Grab it by the insert, twist the barrel off of it. Okay, brass tone board, right here. The double reeds, black wedge. Okay, you're gonna look real close, but there's a little mark on the top of the wedge right there. A little mark means that this is the double reed wedge. Okay, when you put it together for double, you use the wedge that's got the mark on it. This is the single reed wedge. It doesn't have that little mark on the top. Okay. Remember that, and don't lose your wedge. You know, give it to your wife and let her put it in your purse or something, because they ain't going to be free, I'm sure. And you'll uh, you you won't you want to be swapping back and forth so that you can kind of uh, it says you get the feel of what a double read is for, and you can make up your mind about which one you want. And with the 2013 gut system, you'll have no trouble uh, doing that. Okay, this one's in double configuration right now. Okay, so let's turn it into a single. Got the barrel off of it. I use the end of a marks a marks a lot or sharpie or whatever. Stick it in the back of the insert up against the back of the black wedge. Okay? Then you hold it like this with your left hand so that all the parts don't go flying out when you push on it. Okay? So you got it up against there, you got everything where it ain't gonna come apart too fast. And you just push that out of there. Now that's precision fit, so you're going to, have to push a little bit. Okay, you get it loosened up. You can take the rest of the stuff out of there. Okay. Put the wedge where you don't lose it. Take the top reed off. That's the reeds. The top one is the sharp one always. Okay. And this is this is your tone board. All right, see the ears back here? Those ears allow this thing to go back together the same way every time. So you do not have to be apprehensive about taking your call apart. All right, because it's going to go back. All you have to do is reassemble it, and it's back in tune. They, they're they ground in the shop so that when they're put back together, like I'm fixing to show you, they go into tune. That's why it can be tuned in like 15 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to go to single reed. Take that long reed that was in there, the bottom reed. Put it on the tone board. Bump it up against those ears right there. Then take your single reed wedge, the one without the little line on it. Put it in there until it gets goes against the stops. Okay. See, everything's against those stops right there. All right, pinch it with your with your right hand like this, so that it all stays together. Take the insert, kind of wiggle it a little bit to make it all start going in there. Okay, and catch it. I catch it like this. I put my finger on the front of the wedge, and then just mash everything in together until it bottoms out until the tone board bottoms out on the edge of the insert right there sink it all the way in there and you'll have to push because like I say it's it's a precision made little deal okay now your your single reed is ready to go okay twist the barrel back on there give it a little run <laughs> Okay, in tune, ready to go. All right, and now it's a single, so let's make it a double. Same deal. Pull the pull the barrel off. 
take your tool, your screwdriver or whatever you're going to use, go in the back of the insert, against the wedge, grab it like this so it doesn't go flying apart, and then push on it. Okay, you'll feel it when it turns loose. Pull all the stuff out, pull the guts out of it. Take your single reed wedge off of there. You got your long reed on there now. Take your sharp one, your top one. Set it on top. Even them up. Take the reed, take the wedge with the little line with the mark on it. Put it on the ears. Pinch it. Insert. Wiggle it to start. Thumb on the face of the wedge and push until it bottoms out. Okay? And guess what? Now it's double read, and even better than that, it's tuned. Okay, well, back to single. Pull the barrel off. Push the wedge out. Pull it all out of there. Take the double wedge off. Take the top reed off. Put the wedge back on it. Push them down there till it bottoms out right there. Barrel back on it. Give it a little. And that's correct. It, they sound similar. You know, good sound is good sound. Where the double read is not to sound different. The double read is to give you another tuning thing, another thing that you can adjust the call to run like you want it to. A double. Put it back in double. A double lets you blow hard, lets you stab air. Use a lot, a lot, a lot of voice and blow as hard as you want to, okay? That's when it's going to sound good. You know, for, for windy days or dry ground or over plowed ground, okay? Top reed goes back on there. Get the wedge, it's got the little line on it. It goes back against the stops. Push it in until the bottom's out. Put the barrel on. Give it a little run. Very, very simple. Just go through it again. Just keep doing it over and over until you pick up on it. Pull this out. Pull the insert out. In the back of the call. Like this so it don't fly apart. Push. Alright. Got it broke. Pull this out. Take this open there. Okay, now you can wipe it or clean it or do whatever you want to do. And go back with a single. Take your long reed. Put it on the bottom. Get your wedge without the line on it. Get the ears. Put them in there. Wiggle it a little bit to get it going. Catch it right here, right here, and push it to this tenon hits the insert. That means that this there is no way that this tone board can fall out of this insert. No way. Okay? Mash it. Okay? Now your single read and it's in tune. And that's just about how complicated that is to do. Okay? And like I say now, because the tone board is built like it is, 
it goes back together the same way. All right. Well, then somebody would say, well, how do you change it? I mean, how do you tweak it for tune? You tweak it for tune just like you would a, a single reed duck call. <laughs> or a double, really. That, too. You do it with by adjusting the length of the of the reed. Okay? You'll get a bunch of spares when you with your when you buy the call. And the spares are gonna be longer. You know, they'll be too long, just like when you get duck call reeds, and you trim them to uh to the tone you like. When you buy the call it'll have a shop reed in it. Okay? Put it back together as a um, as a single. It has a shop read in it. Okay, if it doesn't have one, when you take it, when you pull that barrel off, take them walks a lot, and do this. Okay. Not because it's where the read goes, but just so that you will be able to distinguish this as the shop read. Okay. So if, if your call was running. Uh, Say when you blew it, it was too hot or too high, okay? If it was too high, you take it apart, get the reed in it that was too high, take a, take a spare, put them tip to tip, and then cut that spare just a hair longer than the... Uh, than the one that was in there. Longer, lower, shorter, higher. Okay? And that's how you build your bottom reed. You take it apart. You and reference your... Reference your... Uh, reed length to the one in the shop. Okay, you blow it. And if it's too high, if it's too high, okay, too fast, then what you would do is just put a longer read in there and based off of this one that you got the line on. Okay, so cut a long one for lower, cut a shorter one for higher. All right, and that is how you solve the bottom read. You get your bottom read right first. Okay, then it's time for the top. Now the top read gives you a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of opportunities to tune things. All right, this top read, it's about length here too. Generally speaking, it's going to be buzzier if you increase the length of the top read, the one that was in the call when you bought it. The shop reads. You want it a little buzzier, fuzzier, really. Then you cut you a top that is uh, longer than this one. Work it too, and that way you'll. Uh... All right. If you want it to be cleaner or more like a single, then you make the top read shorter. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with that top reed, including shaping it. All right, you can cut the tip of it off. You can make it longer, cut the tip of it off. You can cut it to a point. A point sounds pretty good. Okay, just another way for you to tune it. So your call, it's going to get to you in double configuration. I believe that's how they're going to send them. Okay. And it sounds good. It's believe me. It's going to be ready to go when you don't have to take anything apart or do anything. It's going to be fixed up when it roll. When you take it out that little USPS box, it's ready to go. Okay. But everybody likes to trick their calls out. So here is all the trick and a man can stand. You trick out, you set that bottom reed for tone. And really running pressure. Or how it's run, really. 
with the length of this one. Get it just right. And then you run experiments with this one. Okay. But I think you're going to find that the way you take out the read links, how it's set up when it comes out of the box, it's going to be pretty hard to beat. There's a person that put that together and got it running. Believe me, that they know how to build a call. <laughs> okay, it's just that easy. Now there'll be other videos. You're going to get plenty of instruction and all on, uh, you know, how to run it. But this is just how to change it back and forth. And change some of the, the the running characteristics. Remember, there's not there's not going to be a dramatic change in tones. Okay, you don't want that. It sounds good. We want that red bone sound. So we don't really want to change the sound. We just want to change how the operator gets to it, so that he can customize it to make it to make him get there the way he wants to. Okay. Enjoy your new call, and remember, don't feel apprehensive about taking it apart. It's built for that. Keep it spotlessly clean. Keep a new read in it. You know, you don't have to be, you don't have to be 100 years old in a Bhagwan Goose Rosh niche to tune this up. Okay? This is, this is pretty simple stuff here. And there'll be other videos about how to blow it. But this is just about how to take it apart and put it together. You got any questions, make sure you get in touch with Redbone. They're always glad to talk to the folks that buy the calls that they build. Thanks.